Good afternoon. It is 4th of September, it is 3.30 p.m. Uh, my name is Aaron Hunt. I'm a partner at Stace Hammond and the head of the Migration Partners team. Uh, as always, this is not legal advice. This is just us reporting to you what is happening with immigration in New Zealand. Uh, if you want advice, please come and talk to us directly, uh, not through the comments. Uh, you need to be a client of ours for us to give you advice. Now, this has just come through. We've heard this might be happening. Uh, we're glad it has happened. However, the details are still a bit scant. Um, we'll, you'll see it in a minute as to what I mean by that. There is two parts to this. Um, first thing, this is for those who are on shore. Uh, for those who are, who are offshore, unfortunately, this does not provide any more information for you. This is purely for those who are on shore. And those who are, well, there's two parts to it. First part is those who are on shore on a visitor visa. Now, first of all, we'll handle the exclusions. This does not include those of you who are here on a critical purpose visa, those of you who are guardians of students, and those of you who are on a visitor visa based on your partnership to a work visa holder, um, whether you're a partner or whether you're a dependent of a work visa holder, this does not apply to you, uh, this does not affect your visa. All other visa, visa, visitor visa categories, this should affect. Of course, we're working on just like you know, two lines of information from immigration. And if your visa expires between today and the end of October this year, you have now been given a five-month extension to your visa. Now, that extension will not be notified to you until mid-September. So if you do have a visa that's expiring in that period and you are not within that, you know, one of those exceptions and you have a visitor visa, we would recommend that you get in contact with Immigration New Zealand to get them to confirm that your visa is being extended um, until you actually get that email from them confirming you get that extra five months. So say you had a visa that was expiring uh, September 17th, uh, it was a visitor visa, uh, it wasn't one of those exceptions, then that visa is now what's that through to uh, February 17th, you get an extra five months on that visa. Um, that's all the details they've given to us so far. So if you're in doubt, yeah, contact Immigration New Zealand. If your visa uh, expires after mid-September, you probably sort of wait until that period. But I would still say um, check it out. Make sure that you are falling within that allowance for the extra five months. Uh, don't sit back. You know, hope it comes through. Find that you, you are one of the exceptions. You don't get it and you are here unlawfully. Always be certain. The second one is the um, for those of you who are here on another visa, and that visa is coming to an end. There's a lot of you coming uh, visas coming to an end on September 25th, and unfortunately, you've for most people, that's you know you've lost your job, and that's the reason why your visa is coming to an end. There is a new two-month COVID-19 short-term visitor visa being introduced. Now, this is being introduced probably in the middle of this month. So, if your visa um, expires before then, then I'd say you know. Get in contact with us or find some other way to apply for a visa before that takes place don't wait for this visa because you will be here unlawfully if you expire before this one comes through but from mid-september they're bringing through this new visa it's going to be a two-month visitor visa um, granted to allow you to uh, arrange your time your flight home basically you know you you need time to sort out your accommodation here get your stuff sort of um, packed up and find a flight back out of the country to your your place uh, your home country or where you're going back to um, now the details is that you are not required to have employment while on the visa the purpose is that you don't have employment typically um, you must hold a valid passport you must be of good character have a genuine reason for remaining in New Zealand for that two months and I think the purpose is that you can you know time to arrange that flight home um, and that you cannot leave now but will leave before the end of that two month period uh, you do not have to show that you have enough money to support your stay in New Zealand, which is great. Uh, you don't have to show your existing onward travel arrangements because that's the difficult part and hence the reason for the, the visa. Uh, don't have to show you're, you're in good health. And don't have to meet any time limits for how long you're able to stay in New Zealand on a visitor visa. It's basically just giving you that chance, that two month stay. And often for my clients who who have been able, able to get a new visa or have lost um, their employment, I'll say to them, look, let's go to immigration and ask for a short visa just to give you time to to sort out your 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 uh, effects here, your time here, your accommodation here, and arrange for that movement offshore. And this is now what they're going to be uh, providing for is a short-term visitor visa. Said so there will be a fee in applying. We're not sure yet on the process. It will be done online. We're certain about that. When we do know more, which will probably be in the next week or so, we will let you know. 
for now, just know that this is coming. Um, and of course, for those uh, from the first visa, those of you who are on a visitor visa and not, not one of the exceptions, know that you have the extra five months. Um, that is it for now. A very quick, short video. We have very little information here. I will post some of the, um, the text we've received from immigration in the description for this video. We'll come back to you when we know more. Um, just want to get this to you now. It's Friday afternoon and let you sort of, hopefully some of you give you a bit of a relaxation over the weekend and a little bit less stress. Um, until next time, kia kaha, stay safe, and we will see you in a few days, I expect.